everybody, run this Street 4 TV review some Warframe gameplay, and in this gameplay I'm going to be showing you the Breeding Grounds event that's going on in Warframe right now, and uh, how this event works is, you go in, you have to destroy these four hives and come out, that's about it. Uh, but, what may help, but let's explain the point system, and let's explain the rewards. This event, how the points, we're going to start the point system first. How the point system works is the more you do this event, the more you'll get a stench, you'll smell worse if you're killing the hives, which is your main goal. You're killing these hives in the event, and you kill four and you go to extraction. The more you do this event, the more stench you acquire from destroying these hives. And the more points you have, the better chance you have of reaching your point goal or a higher score. Now then, how, how this works within a group. The stench is combined. Meaning, if you're in a group of people who just started this and you have like 400 points of stench, you will not get, say, 40 points or 40 points plus if you're doing it solo. If you're in a group, it takes the average of everyone's stench and makes it a medium. So if you have new newbies and you're like an expert, you got a lot of stench points, you will not get the points, or you know, you will not get a high score because you will be average with the people who have barely the points. So it's a, it's a, would be a good idea if you get your little a little group of your buddies, friends, clanmates that have been doing this event already, and just average up the points that way, or you could go solo. Now then, the higher difficulty, well, the higher points you have, the higher the difficulty. So if you have like 400 points or 300 points, the level of the infested you're killing is going to be higher. And you will be fighting a lot of infested. You don't, you don't want to get overrun by these things. These things will tear you to shreds. So, and here I'm using a Volban. You can already see my Pro Vandal because I already completed the whole event. But I got myself about 49 points. Give my buddy at 60. This includes only the side, so he got himself 60 points. And the point system is sometimes random. Um, people in your party could get around 60 points, like you'll make Silex, and my buddy Jaron did, and I, I can only get like 45. It all, it's all random, depending on your stench level. So stench is an important thing. Be in a group of people who have done it before, or do it yourself, get a good score, and bam, you get your rewards. Now then the rewards. You have a badge if you get a small amount of points. You get like six points, you get yourself the Breeding Grounds badge, if you get 17, you get yourself the four dual stat mods. These are status plus fire damage mods. Now all we need now is the uh, ice and status, but that'll be probably in the future. But it, but the mod, the mods are really good. Fire and status change, so it's really good. And now the real, real prize that most people would or are trying to get is the. Prova Vandal, which is what I'm equipped right now in the gameplay. Um, you have to need you need 48 points to get this Prova. It's the same as the Prova, but a little bit stronger, and it has a cool little design. If you have a, if you're a member of closed beta since of this game, you probably have yourself the Lotto Vandal and the Graton Vandal. I myself have the Lotto Vandal and just the Prova. I don't have any primary Vandals. Except the Snipertron, actually. That's another one that came out. Snipertron Vandal. Vandal is a uh, corpus style uh, weapon. This is with a little bit of the Lotus design on it, which, I don't know, it just looks cool. Uh, but that's uh, the rewards. Uh, points, if you need 48 for everything. You keep going higher if you want for you know, clan rewards and stuff. Um, the clan rewards is just, you know, as a group of clan, the best clan is you can get to a statue or something. Just like all the other events. But, uh, the event's really cool. I'm using the Brack while leveling up weapons in the back. I'm currently leveling up my Ignis. I already formed and leveled up all, all my Corpus weapons that are, you know, that I really want to use. So, uh, yep, I will be using more weapons. I will be already make a video for the Stanas, because someone requested a video for the Stanas. You know who you are. But, uh, the event's really cool. I'm um, looking forward to the J3 Golem's appearance. It's going to be a big box Corpus. I'm waiting for that thing. Also, it's also going to be a size relatively the same to Lafantis. So expect that. This is all set in a dev stream. And uh, lastly, what I need to say is looking at the mods that you get, the reward mods, fire status chance, that, there's a new Warframe on that. 
So, it happened last time, ooh, it's Valkyrie? No, I, some mod that had a different type of Warframe than it was released. So I expect a new Warframe to come out, I don't know when, but soon. Death stream is today, so I'm going to be watching that. I do look at the date of this video so you know what I mean by today. Also, don't forget to read the description. Uh, check out the channel below in the description. And also, uh, if you want a better or a different viewpoint of this event in like two or four minutes, less than five minutes, check out Mogami's video, link below. Uh, but this is the event. It's pretty fast, pretty straightforward. I finished it in uh, about an hour and a half. Got all the stuff. So it's relatively easy. And you have until next week for this event. So you have plenty of time. Just <laughs> don't slack. Uh, we're on Street 4 2. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy the rest of the video.